back everyone to probably the final episode I'm gonna record today because my vo my voice is really starting to hurt and I'm really starting to feel it now so anyways we are in the new in the new generation of our next years we have officially conquered a lot of the uh, Ottoman land we've officially conquered all the Asian parts and now we're just trying to you know take over the final little part of the Ottoman Empire the problem is, is that we have lots of truces that are preventing us from doing anything. So we're just trying to pe we're just trying to make sure we're very peaceful in this day and age, so that you know all of our allies will join in when we need them to. Because we kind of need all of our allies to join in, so that we can you know do stuff. So I'm just gonna let time fly by. Not I know it sounds really boring, guys. And you guys can also skip this part, but oh my goodness, the Emperor of Mexico is back. He was reinstalled, everyone! The Emperor! Pedro, you are a great man. Okay, uh, Eugenie Islands, you guys are doing good, but yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to maintain a very good status quo piece. I don't want to provoke anything, I don't want to do anything, because I really need, first of all, I need all these people to join in when we go to war against the British. Okay, because the British has an insanely powerful army, okay? So we're gonna need everyone in on it. It's like it's like the big gigantic joke. Everyone's gonna be need to be in on it. Otherwise, we're gonna have massive problems. So, you know, no, I'm just I'm trying not to do anything. Wait, ooh, this could be a good thing. Actually, hmm. If we were to join in on this, yeah, let's let's join in. I know a lot of you guys are like, wait, why would you join in on this? The reason why I would join in on this is the fact that if I could do this, then that means we could possibly eliminate the uh, British from from the world, which means we won't have to like deal with an all-powerful British army, and we'll basically eliminate the uh, Ottomans' main threat because they can't. The British will not be able to join in once, you know, once the truce is there. So that then we could just automatically go in and go punish them. Oh, and, you know, come in with a very powerful army. That's what we're basically planning here. I kind of want, if I could, I think I want to get back my Malaysian colonies. I'm already calling it. I want my Malaysia back. You took it from me, you darn dirty uh, Dutch people. The Dutch... You know, as a subcategory, the Dutch have been like a evil enemy. Like, I'm, I'm almost starting to believe that when when our like the Austin Bowers thing, where he says like, the two people you should fear, it's like the Brits and the Dutch. I'm like, yep, I'm starting to believe that too because I'm just like, these guys are really starting to annoy me. Uh, and I'm just gonna, I'm just really just gonna sit here. There's really not much I can really do as a third world power. Well, not really a third world power, just a power in general. And I'm just gonna hope that and pray that we can actually crush through these guys. And hope that these European powers are not stupid and don't just like, you know, unally themselves. Because they're gonna all have to unite against one common foe to defeat these guys. But if they can defeat them, then we basically have the greatest alliance ever. I mean, we're rapidly crushing through them. And the communists have come up through my country again! Why do I not seem shocked anymore by this? Oh, it's all on this island. Okay. That's fine. Wait, is it on my other islands too? It's on my other islands too. Great. Oh my goodness, great! Okay, well it's a good thing I have a good army already there stationed in my country to protect myself from this massive communist revolution. Okay, drums and violence, declare martial law. Uh, just a national apology should work. I, I don't think it resorts to national, to national bickering yet. Uh, lazy names need to learn how to adapt, but yeah. It seems like it seems like the uh, Germans are crushing through the uh, rest of the uh, Netherlands army, which is good. Yeah, we're gonna win this pretty flat out, pretty quickly. Uh, we're probably I'm probably not gonna gain anything now that I think about it, but at least the good thing about this is at least we finally crushed through the British army, pretty much due to the fact that. They were <laughs> pretty much to enforce the Calcutta. Yeah. Okay. All you guys join up. Now go hunt the rebels. Because now you guys are a good sized army. Gonna go attack. 
and we should be able to go defeat him, yeah. But we are now all combined. We are now basically all together, and this is awesome. Because now even the British, the, basically what I'm saying, the British will not be able to join in to this war, especially if this war ends in about a year. They'll not be able to join in, and yes, the French are starting to crush the British, yes! Oh gosh, I'm really happy when that happens. That means that the British are finally destroyed. Yeah, we're, we're gonna win this pretty much hands down the greatest victory we have ever suffered. The British are now defeated. We have again triumphs. Oh my goodness, the French are just gonna destroy them. No one really took anything from me. This is like the first time ever. No one's ever took anything from me. And yeah, we're just gonna go and generally attack. We're just gonna have to wait though. As soon as this war is over with, we're directly going to declare war and get some more land. In fact, you know, I kind of feel confident in my own skills to deal with the Ottomans. I mean, I, I might be getting a little bit too cocky, which is the truth, and I feel like I could probably take on the Ottomans by myself. Like, not even with the other guys, which means that then I could probably, like figure out what I need to do. Maybe what I could do... Ooh, I got an idea. I got an idea. What I could do is declare war the first time, you know, and, you know, gain what I need the last little bit of... I think the last little bit of sliver of land. Okay, I have to get my people out of here before they all die. Okay, because I realize it's a massive, like, fleet. But what we can do is do the last little bit of land right here, get this land, and then go attack the actual Ottoman capital with, like, alliance there, break the alliance, and then do all this kind of stuff. That could work. And, honestly, the the British are getting conquered, they're getting destroyed. I mean, they're almost at 100%. 100%, come on, guys. There we go. Okay, what did we all want? Because we did a lot of different conquesty stuff. Okay, and we can now put back everyone in their proper places. Okay. Let's see. Alright, I don't know what happened in terms of what of all the stuff they demanded, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty extensive. British basically lost no land, as, as far as I can see. The Dutch lost no land, as far as I can see. Uh, Poland lost a little bit of land, but that doesn't seem like much. Okay, what did we gain from this war? Huh. I really don't know, but... Let's... Okay. Oh, you better be not kidding me. This... <sighs> okay, I, I, th there's a problem with this right now, people. Um... What the... Okay, I'm going to, like... Okay, guys, I will be back in one second. Because there's a problem right now, which I didn't even anticipate, which was... I can't actually declare war on the Ottomans right now. Because... Then they're not letting me declare, get their capital, so which is weird because I should be able to. I don't know, but they're not letting me even do like a cosplay to declare war. So I'm gonna be right back to see if if a quick save and and come back loading in will fix everything. But we will see because if by chance we can't get can't get that core fixed out, like if I can't do anything to declare war on them, then I'm just gonna have to come back. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in one second. Okay, guys, welcome back to another. S well, this isn't really an ep a new episode, but it's just kind of like I'm back. <laughs> so, um, it took me a little bit, but I finally figured out what happened and why was it all acting up on me. And it basically comes down to a pre-made paradox decision where, in the new HOD expansion pack, um, you basically cannot declare war for the capital of a big gigantic empire at all. Even if you got the entire capital surrounded by another country, you can just not declare war for it. You're going to have to declare war for it for a different reason, and then you can go to war for the capital. Like, I'm going to have to first declare war on the Ottomans, conquer all of its land, and then I can add a war goal to get this little tiny thing right here. Sounds about... Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, sounds like I'm going to have to wait a little bit, so, sorry guys. Yeah, and I completely forgot that, I forgot in this game, for some reason, in Victoria 2, 
alliances aren't that really set, and usually AI doesn't really get any penalties for breaking alliances to try to come after you. They, I mean, you can't break an alliance because they will come after you like a hardcore, like a uh, human and a fly. But when it comes to them breaking alliances, psh, forget it. They just have unlimited, unlimited powers. So right now, our economy is just like doing actually not that bad. Usually, I was expecting to be worse. So obviously, something we're doing is doing right. I'm going to not tax the middle class because they're the ones who pay for a lot of my stuff. Uh, tax the rich because I have a, like a serious... I don't know, it's... I have a serious hatred towards the rich in this game just because they never help me out in the entire thing. You know, there's supposed to be this kind of good, like, government thing where the I ignore the rich and the rich build all my stuff. But for some reason, the rich did nothing! And so it was like, okay, so why do I have you guys around? You guys aren't useful in any practical sense except you're rich. And honestly, if I had the ability to, I would take away all your wealth and pay for my stuff. I don't know. It sounds like I am just being very, very... Oh my gosh, you guys want a lot of chocolate subsidies. I'm not going to do it. Let's give you healthcare. Because healthcare is easy for me to provide. Uh, that will help my people start to live longer, which means they might... Which is kind of scary, actually, because I don't want my people to live longer because I don't want to start giving them pensions. I want them to all die at good, ripe old ages of, like, 40. Okay? That's when the productivity goes down, and that's when they should die. <laughs> It sounds very morbid, but it's the truth. Okay, so my vassal finally has it under control, I think. I think Tunis can finally deal with its own problems. After so long of me just watching it. Oh my goodness, and then there's what? Dang. These red guards are really quite angry. Well, I'll have to, like, think about a little conquest. Let's see, is there anything over here that's worth anything? No, I don't. I really don't think I want to own the Philippines. The Philippines just does not seem like a worthy conquest, in my opinion. But. Hmm. Conquering some of the Heavenly Kingdom. I, I've been going back. No, guys. You guys have seen me go back and forth on this for like a couple episodes. Um. The Heavenly Kingdom. One of the. Probably one of the best places to ever conquer because it'd probably be good. I think uh, Since they're at war with the Chinese right now, I think I could probably sneak one little tiny region out Wait, let me make sure that it's not a war for uh, Annex the Heavenly Kingdom uh, Well, they could actually the Heavenly Kingdom could actually stand up to China right now because it just can so Maybe just maybe I might be able to sneak something past them, but First, I have to deal with all the rebels in Ethiopia, because Ethiopia is like a ticking time bomb. No matter how much you try, there is going to be some kind of problems it finds with your regime. Even if you are the nicest people ever, they will find problems. Trust me, people, they will. So, right now, I'm going to be, now that we are completely done with economics mostly, I think I'm now going to start taking down to get some good factory output and input. Speaking of factories, I'm going to try to build some more factories or places I can. Not really many places I can though, because not many really, really places are, you know, uh, population centered to produce factories. In fact, my biggest population centers are right here, actually. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have this place start producing some uh, uh, work craftsmen then, because I need to get some of this working up. That's a lot of people just in that one place, and oh my goodness, the fascists are in power. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm gonna start having to deal with the fascists again. The fascists just are not leaving me alone. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, the guy is almost done down here, so we can kind of leave Ethiopia again. A lovely, 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 lovely little place. There we go. Get everyone on the boats, and now we're gonna go send you guys on a magical adventure to go reclaim some of our land and to go conquer some eat some Jap not Japanese. Chinese men so that we can just gain a massive population boost and have a bunch of Gosh dang it. I think they might actually like lose this Hmm. So if I were to go over here, what would I go over here for? Well, I could probably go free all my people from this like revolt risk over here Which is kind of annoying me now that I think about it 
Like, why would you revolt against me? I'm actually a pretty nice guy. And you know they're coming for us, guys. There is no denying it. Those Chinese people coming for us. I know they are. They know when you win. They're coming. I just know they are coming for us. Yeah. Coming for the wise words of the prospector. Aye. He will never let us down. He's never let us down since the beginning of this world. He is wise. He is for this. Vote prospector. Vote prospector. Because they're coming for us. Yay! Yeah, that's a totally okay. That's a totally be like a slogan. Okay. So I do have a Kaiser Spelai, which is good. Um, and even if by the very least it's ours, yeah. Are you kidding me? I earn that. Um, even at the very least, if nothing, if I'm not able to like free myself from, I'm not able to steal some land. Oh. I was about to say, if I'm not able to steal any land from them, then, eh, oh well. I mean, it's not, like, insanely important that we get what we need. I could always, I could always, and this is always an option, go to war for Formosa and, you know, steal some kind of land from there. Or what I could possibly do is look around here and see who else is kind of a weak-ish vassal and try to take some land from over here. Like, I could go to war against Serbia and take a lot of their ooh, coal. Hmm. <laughs> you have no friends right now, Serbia. Oh, I can only do a quiet state, Dan. Well, actually, a quiet state wouldn't be that bad, actually, because you would get... The quiet state would be this entire Bosnian region, which would actually be... Uh, in, in faint terms, not that bad. Okay, but... Population-wise, it wouldn't really be that worth it, and we're kind of looking for good population centers before we start looking for other... Oh my goodness, that is a communist refuge. Can I go destroy that, please? Because that's just like, wow. Okay. Okay. And if you guys are wondering kind of why I'm like looking for so many targets to attack, it's just... We have a couple years before tru before the truces with all the major countries we need to kind of fight Britain are going to be over with. So as you guys can see, these are all the countries we're gonna need to enter in the war, and the truces don't don't get expired until 1819. So we kind of have to fill our time with, uh, you know, something, <laughs> for lack of a better word, something. So, and I'm still we're still trying to become an industrial giant, which is actually pretty much possible because we're like the 20th, and we've only done like a little bit of industrializing, which I think is kind of cool. And the poor, and the rich are actually helping. Maybe you guys are not worth. Maybe you guys aren't worthless after all. Maybe I can actually lower your taxes again. Hmm. Anyways, I think I'm going to decrease our tariffs down to one percent. That way, that we can start dealing with more and more stuff and stuff happening. Because we want to make sure that we can do a ton of. You know what? You know what I could do is I could just attack. Dang it! I was thinking about attacking Brunei, but it's still civilized. So, is there any uncivilized nations anymore that'd be worth attacking? Yuan, nah. It seems like all these guys, the major ones that usually want to attack, are all civilized powers. And of course, there's no uncivilized power over here. But, gosh dang, good job, Colombia! Like, you guys have grown big, and then Brazil is actually expanding. There's actually some stuff happening in South America. That's kind of cool. Alright, is there any other stuff that we need to enact to make people happy? Because I want to keep people happy so I don't die. I really don't want to be out of power. Uh, tricklet pensions? No. Subsidies? I could probably... No. Uh, let's give you 14 hour work days. We can all have 14 hour work days. I can agree with that. We all are tired when we get home and we need to unwind with some... With some good old fashioned... Um, vodka and, uh, Greek berries and... I don't, I don't know, what do my troops actually, like, what what do my people actually drink, guys? I mean, say in the comment section what you guys think my people actually drink when they're at home. Like, what do they do when they're just, like, relaxing? Because I only have, like, a little bit of money for them. I only give them, like, very little health care. I mean, I don't even know what they would do. And this is really insanely risky. I don't know why my troops are doing this, but we'll see if it's, we'll see if this works. Because 57, oh my goodness, wow, they destroyed those rebels. Okay. Just as I planned, though. I mean, I never planned for them to lose. So there we go. My troops are now going to all reconquer back our islands. And for the first time in a very long time, we are completely rebel-free. So now I'm going to get back on here. 
and get back into the wild. Okay, and so since since most of the like, big countries that usually are not civilized are civilized, um, I guess the thinking should go is where should be the you know some good countries that'd be nice. Even Bali got civilized. Damn, that's pretty amazing. Um. What countries, basically what I'm saying people is, what countries would be worth taking infamy to try to, uh, uh, be friendly, I should say, for lack of a better term, be friendly. So, I think the Chinese are definitely one that we should, uh, be friendly with. A place under the sun is an enemy or I could get a quiet state. This could make me get instant cores on them and get me instant, like, conversion. It's just a matter of days, and honestly, infamy is not a big is not a big thing right now. So yeah, what we're gonna try to do then is we're gonna try to steal a little bit of uh, China from from the Chinese, and I know exactly which region we want to take. This one, this one right here. You know why? Because it has the biggest it has the biggest output of population. It has the biggest output of uh, metals, and it just generally has really good stuff in this one region right here. And if we're lucky, we could also add a second region over here, which would, yeah, complete the entire thing. So, and with that, our economy after this should but skyrocket to, like, the best. I mean, I'm not even joking. You know, once you gain, like, 12 million people into your population center, and I'm not even joking, people. That's about 12 million people worth about right here. Oh my goodness, I the prospector has always spoken the first time. He's always said his piece about the Chinese, so... Yeah, we don't need to say it again. Factory efficiency now going up. And I think it's finally time that we discover discover um, aeronautics. Uh, I probably just butchered that word, but basically flying. Because I want to be able to soar above the sky, everyone. That is our goal. Is we as the mighty Greeks want to be able to soar above the sky. Be the ones to invent the use of flying and invent the freedom that man will soon discover. Okay, and it, and the Polish are still being like major hogs in terms of the uh, crisis mode. All right, my troops basically got it under control. Let's see, did they spawn in? No, they did not. Good. Oh my goodness, two of them! Wow, the prospector is really, really being hyper today about his his uh. They're coming for us with the Chinese. It almost seems like he's paranoid of the Chinese. Like I've never seen him this enthralled by just fighting the Chinese. Okay, um, and of course, if you guys don't realize it, we're probably going to beat these guys pretty much to the Pope. If the Russians join in, then the Chinese have basically no chance. I mean, flatly put, they do not have any chance. Oh my goodness! Okay, I think it's either the, the prospect is either very racist towards the, uh, towards the Chinese, or he's just, he really does fear China. <laughs> oh gosh, this is actually really funny. There's some white peace things going on. Okay, so... Yeah, it seems like Russia and America went to war. Huh. Sounds very familiar. Okay, so... Uh, I think it's called Jinkui is the region I want. Uh, no, it's South Zainai. Uh, Zainai. I don't know how to pronounce this. This is like... <laughs> this, it's hard enough trying to pronounce... Trying to pronounce uh, American words, but then trying to pronounce these words? Oh my goodness, forget it. Let's see. Let's see how many people join in. I think Russia should join in. Uh, Persia betrayed us. Portugal betrayed us. Austria betrayed us. France join in and Russia join in. Okay, they're dead. <laughs> uh, they're dead now. Okay, so um, I have an army. We might as well go like do some. We might as well go attack uh, Taiwan here because that's gonna be great for us. And it seems like <laughs> China's full ally list didn't join in, so it's just gonna be them against. An overwhelmingly more powerful force. This is gonna be hilarious to watch. I'm just gonna tell you that now, people. So let's just like casually conquer Taiwan so that we have a good base for attacking the rest of their places. There we go. Okay, get all of our ships in here so that we're kind of guarded. Because I don't know, I don't know what kind of force the Chinese has in terms of ships, and I honestly won't find out until the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.